Bye, guys. Everybody. My name is Katie, and I play for the E14 ECNL team. Isn't that working? It's working. There's three people on. Oh, okay. And I'm Karen, Katie's mom. And we are going to be doing a 40-minute Pilates class. And we are, we'll be using, if you guys have your soccer ball handy, we'll be using, you know, soccer ball for some exercises as well. Okay? Let me uh, make sure this is. Just came on. Do you want to surface? Okay. <laughs> All right, my name is Katie Scott, and I play for the ECNL U14 team. And I'm Karen, Katie's mom, and we are going to be doing a 40-minute Pilates class. Yeah. And can't see that. There you go. Okay. All right. So let's see what time it is. We have a few more minutes, so we're going to wait until 4 o'clock to, to begin our class. But if you guys have your ball, that would be great because we are going to be using, uh, for some of the exercises, uh, the ball as a prop. So. Sorry. <laughs> All right. We hope everyone's doing well and staying safe and healthy. Right, Kate? Yes. So, everyone got their homework done by now? Done. We have about two more Is minutes. Yeah, it's pretty good. And we'll, be, we'll begin the class in two minutes. Do we need to back it up at all? No, you guys are good. Let's go like this a little bit. Jerry, you stand up. Oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, the only thing is, is what's going to be. Um, what's it's going to be is um, when we stand up for our legs. But that's okay. Okay. All right. So we'll wait one more minute. one more minute and then we'll start the class. Ready for it? This will be an all body workout. We'll do some stretching in the beginning, um, followed by some core work, um, some traditional Pilates moves, and then we'll, we're going to add some legs um, and then we'll go back to some abs and then we'll finish out with some arms and then just a little bit of quick stretching at the end. So. I hope you guys enjoy it. I think we're going to begin. Ready, Kate? Yes. Okay. All right, so lay down. All right. Arms over your head. Take an inhale, stretch. Exhale it out. Good. Inhale, stretch long. Fingers from your toes, toes from your fingers. Exhale it out. Good. We'll just do two more. So inhale, stretch long. Reach your fingers away from your toes. Toes away from your fingers. Exhale it out. Good. And one last one. Inhale, reach long, Katie. Point your toes. Reach. Good. And exhale it out. Arms down by your side. Bend your knees. Have your feet hip distance apart for shoulder shoves. So Katie, what we're going to do is we take our inhale up to your ears. And exhale, glide your fingertips away, giving yourself a good stretch in your shoulders and your neck. So inhale up, and exhale, reach away. Now, the Pilates breath is a little bit different than the yoga breath. With Pilates, you inhale, Katie, through your nose, shoulders up towards your ears, and then exhale through your mouth. We'll do two more of these. And when you're exhaling out, think about... Um, every time you exhale, is taking your belly button and drawing it down to your spine. So you're really engaging in the core. So inhale up. 
Good, and exhale, reach those fingertips away, and draw your belly button down, your spine good. Excellent. Um, we're gonna go to hip rolls, Katie. So, um, girls, what I want you to focus on are your feet being hip distance, hip distance apart. A great cue is having two fists together, put it between your feet, that's about your hip distance apart. You're gonna lay down, you're gonna bring your knees real close to your bottom. So, okay, bring your knees close to your bottom. Good. Take a nice deep inhale here. On the exhale, you're gonna flatten that lower back out and you're gonna press your heels into the mat and you're gonna peel your spine one vertebrae at a time, as high as we can, all the way up. Good, stay here, take a nice deep inhale, breathe. And then exhale, slow as we can, we're gonna release back down. And we're gonna try to get each vertebrae to hit the mat on the way back down. Good, on the exhale. And we'll do another one. Make sure your feet are parallel and then your knees are tracking. Good, right about there. So take an inhale here, Katie. On the exhale, roll off slow. When you get to the top, squeeze your bottom, draw your belly button down, hold. And then as slow as we can, just try to get each vertebrae to hit the mat. So you're really tapping into your quads to control it down. Good, and we'll do two more girls. Let's so take a nice deep inhale here. On the exhale, find that flattening at the other of the lower back, otherwise known as imprint, and we're gonna press through our heels all the way up. We're gonna draw our belly button down, squeeze our bottom, hold, and then as slow as we can, think about trying to get each vertebrae to hit the mat when you release back down. Good, we'll just do one more. So take a nice deep inhale here. Exhale, imprint that flattening in the lower back, pressing up slow, hips real high, Kate, real high, hips real high, and we're gonna hold it here. Five, four, squeeze your bottom, three, two, one, and as slow as we can, we're gonna release that down. Good. Now we're gonna do a stretch called spinal rotation, so you're gonna roll into your left side, you're gonna have your hips at a 90 degree angle, right? And then your knees at a 90 degree angle. Arms out in front of you like this, Katie. You're gonna take an inhale, you're gonna open up across your chest, look over that side, feel that deep stretch, take a nice deep inhale, and then close back over. Good. Inhale, open, follow your hand across your body. Stay here, take a nice deep inhale, open up, and then exhale, close back over. Good, we'll just do one more, Kate. So inhale, open. And close back over. Good, let's go on the other side. So you can align your back up with the edge of the mat. And like I said, from the, fr the first one, hips at a 90 degree angle, and then knees at a 90 degree angle, good. Take an inhale, open up, and follow your hand across your body. One side might feel a little bit different. I'll give Katie a little bit deeper stretch. Good, and then it's over. Inhale, open. Good. And then close back over. We'll just do one more. Slow, using that breath. And then close back over. Good, excellent. So now we're gonna go on our hands and knees for some cat-cow stretches. You may have done this last week in the yoga. So um, in the proper position, you want your hips over your knees and your shoulders over your wrists, right? And your legs are just, you know, hip distance apart. You're gonna inhale, you're gonna drop your belly. You're gonna tip up your tail, you're gonna look up at the wall. And on the exhale, you're gonna scoop up and in, drop your head like an angry cat position. Inhale, this is cow, look up at the wall. Exhale, scoop. Really draw my belly button up to your spine. And we'll just do one more, girls. Inhale, lengthen out. And then exhale, scoop up and in, drop your head. Good. We're gonna go on a flat back here. So flat back is you're still engaging in your core. So you're just, just Katie's gonna think about drawing her belly button up in her spine. Her eye gaze is gonna be down. She's gonna be thinking about reaching her crown of your head forward, okay? So, you're gonna take an inhale, Katie, you're gonna reach your right arm out, but your left leg out, flex the foot, good. Flex it, yep, have it, sway your hips off, have it on hip height, scoop the belly in, and release down. We'll do the opposite side. So extend left arm, right leg in front of you, behind you, flex the foot, 
Engage in that force. Scoop your belly in. Focus. And now release down. Now, girls, we're going to take it out to the sides. So, okay, go back in that position. Eye gaze down. Extend right arm left, right arm front, flex your foot. Now from here, you're going to take the right arm out to the side, the left leg out to the side, right? And we're going to hold. Five, four, scoop the belly and balance. Three, good. Two, one, center and down. Good. Extend left arm, right leg in front of you, behind you. So you're really going to square your hips off first, stabilize your body, focus, it's control, and then you're going to take it out to the sides. And we're going to hold, scoop the belly in, five, good, breathe, four, don't forget to breathe, three, two, one, go all the way to center first, have it started, arms in front of you first, and then release down, good. The last set of this exercise, we're going to connect elbow to knee. So we're going to center right arm and left leg in front of you, behind you, gently point your left toe, using your breath on the exhale, you're going to connect elbow to knee, so scoop. Inhale, reach. Exhale, slow it down. Using that breath, drop your head, Katie. Right, when you reach down, drop. Good, lengthen, and let's do one more. And reach, and release down. Extend left arm, right leg in front of you, behind you first. Continue to press through that right shoulder. Don't let, don't sink in, right? So really press the mat with your right hand. Hand and use that breath. Scoop up and in and extend and reach. Good girls. And lengthen. Give me two more. Using that breath. Good. And last one. And lengthen out. Release down and push back to a child's a child's pose or shell stretch as for Pilates. Big toes to touch. Knees out to the edges of the mat. Reach your arms forward and just give yourselves a few breaths right here. Good. Two more breaths, girls. Excellent. Okay, Katie, why don't you come up? The next exercise we're going to do are ab preps. So, Katie, why don't you lay on your back, bend your knees, hands behind your head. Yeah, see, okay. So in this exercise, girls, we're just doing, this is called ad prep. Um, we're gonna focus on just using your ads, not engaging in your butt or your legs. So really think about keeping them loose. So you're gonna take an inhale, girls, and you're gonna slightly nod your chin. On the exhale, you're gonna come up as high as we can. Eye gaze should be right above your knees. I want your elbows wide, but shoulders down. And now release. Go, we're going to do two more of those. So inhale, not. Exhale, flex up. Inhale here and stay. Hold. And now release down. Good. We're just going to do one more. Inhale, slight nod. Should be pair. Exhale, flex up. Good. Inhale, stay. Right? And one of the good cues is and release down. Okay. Uh, before we do anything else, I want to make sure when you girls come up when you with your head position that you're able to have a fist between your chin and your chest. That releases a strain in your neck. Okay? To think about that as well. Okay, so now we're going to start to pulse. So take an inhale, nod to prepare. On the exhale, we're going to flex up as high as we can, right? From here, just release an inch and pulse. Two, three, four, breathe five, six, good, seven, and eight, nine, ten. Ten, breathe nine, good, eight, seven, and six, five, four, three, good, two, one. Inhale at the top, and then exhale, release back down. Good work. We're going to do right, repeat that side, okay? So take an inhale, slight nod. Exhale, flex up. Remember, keeping your shoulders down, elbows wide, release an inch, and pulse. Two, three, three, four, good, five, six, seven, go into breath, eight, nine, ten, ten, good, seven, and six, five, good, four, three, two, one. Inhale at the top. Exhale, release back down, stretch out long one breath. Good, and right back. Bend your knees again, hands behind your head. Okay, so can you bring one leg to tabletop? Good, exhale the other. Excellent. Have your legs nice and, you know, toes gently pointed, legs together, nice and tight. You're gonna take an inhale here. Oh, you can actually roll your, roll your legs a little bit closer into your chest, 
to create a little bit of flattening that lower back. Inhale here. On the exhale, we're going to slightly nod. We're going to rise up, eye gaze to the ceiling. We're going to release an inch and then lift. Two, three, four. Good. Seven and eight. Nine, ten. Good. Lift. Nine, eight. Breathe. Seven and four. Good. Three. Lift. Two, one. Rise up. And then release your body. Release lower body. Arms one breath. Stretch long and repeat. Good. Okay. Bring one leg to tabletop again, girls. Exhale the other. Inhale here. On the exhale, we slightly nod. We rise up. Eye gaze lift to the ceiling. Release an inch and lift. Two, three, lift to four. Good. Five, six, and seven. Eight, nine, ten. Breathe. Eight, seven, and six. Lift. Five, good. Four, three, two, one. Rise up. And release back down, release your legs, give a stretch long, inhale, exhale it out. Okay, the next exercise we're going to do is hip, is hip lifts. So I want your arms down by your side, bend your knees, use a baby's favorite, right? No. <laughs> okay, um, bring one leg to tabletop, exhale the other. And now, girls, as best you can, and as some of you may be tight, um, with your hamstrings, as best you can, try to have your legs nice and tight, toes gently pointed. And basically what we're going to do is we're lifting your legs into the air, but try not to put any pressure in your hands or your head, that the lift is coming from your lower abs, your deep core, okay? All right, so, and then when we're lifting, we're exhaling, so the breath is really important. So inhale here, and one, two, lift it, three, four, Five, six, go, squeeze, seven, lift it, eight, breathe, nine, ten, ten, nine, squeeze it up, eight, lift, seven, six, use that breath, four, three, two, one, good, bend your knees, release back down, it's a little hard, right, Kate? <sighs> We're going to do one more set of those, and then we'll roll over our stuff, so I feel better. Okay, one more set of these girls. Let's get our abs engaged. Okay, so bend your knees. Bring one leg to tabletop. Exhale the other. Straighten out as best we can. Okay, remember, when we're lifting in the air, we're exhaling as well as squeeze our butt and um, try to keep your legs nice and engaged, okay? So take a nice... Oh. <laughs> take an inhale here. And one, two... Three, lift it, four, squeeze out, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, good, Kitty. Nine, lift it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, bend it in, release down, arms over your head, stretch long, inhale, exhale it out. Good, Katie. Inhale. And then exhale, no longer under your stomach for um, rest stroke press. Okay. So this should feel good because we just did a ton of flexion. So this will give us some extension as well as we'll be working our um, upper back muscles. Okay. So in this exercise, in these exercises, Katie, you're going to lay down. You're going to have your elbows, your elbows bent by your side. You're going to lay down the mat. But girls, I want to make sure that your butt and your legs are nice and engaged and nice and tight throughout the whole exercise, okay? So the first is you're going to take that inhale and you're going to glide those shoulders back away from those ears. And on the exhale, you're just going to rise up, Katie. So upper back and mid-back lift up, doing all the work. Lift your hands off, squeezing, and now releasing. Good. So we now glide those shoulders back. On the exhale, lift off. If you're going to lift your legs off, just make sure your butt's nice and engaged. Hold it here, and then release down. Good. We're going to do two more. So inhale, glide those shoulders away. On the exhale, upper back and mid-back, doing all the work. Take the shoulders away from your ears, right? And now release down. Good. And we'll just do one more, girls. So inhale, glide those shoulders back. On the exhale, lift up. Good. Squeezing, holding. Excellent. And release down. Now, Katie, um, arms down by your side, palms facing inward. Uh, in, lower down to the mat. Good. Mm -hmm. 
Palms facing in towards your body, right there. Okay. So now, okay, look, you're going to take an inhale, and you're going to roll the shoulders back and away. On the exhale, you're going to rise up, but eye gaze remains down. You think about reaching your crown heads forward, fingertips off, reaching back, squeezing, and now release down. And release. Release. And then let me do it. Okay, yeah. So now, <laughs> that's okay. So inhale, roll the shoulders back and away. Exhale, rise up, but eye gaze. You know, that would hurt your neck. So you might think about reaching that crown forward, really fingertips reaching back, giving yourself a good stretch here, girls. And now release down. And we'll just do two more. So inhale, roll the shoulders back and away. Exhale, rise up. Good. Just one nice long board. Every muscle's engaged. Holding. And now release down. One last one, Katie. So inhale, roll. Exhale, lift. Good. Inhale here and stay. Squeeze. And now release down. Good work. One last exercise for this. Hands underneath your forehead like this. Now really make sure you uh, engage um, your butt nice and tight. Good. So now, girls, we're going to take an inhale. We're going to take our shoulders away. On the exhale, we're going to lift our elbows off. They're connected like this, Kate, with the fore to your forehead. Lift up. Yes. Hold. And now release down. Good. So inhale, glide those shoulders back. On the exhale, lift those elbows up as high as you can. Keep your legs on the mat for this exercise, but really squeeze, hold, and now release down. Good. We have two more. So we now glide those shoulders back. On the exhale, lift up those elbows off. Beautiful. Hold, breathe, and now release down. Good work. Just one more, Katie. So inhale, glide those shoulders back, girls. On the exhale, lift those elbows off, holding, squeezing, five. Four, three, lift a little higher, Kate, two, our posture muscles, right? And now release down. Good work. Push back to a shell stretch, girls, to neutralize our spine or child's pose. Big toes to touch. Legs out to the edges of the mat. Give yourself one quick breath. Good. And now we're going to go on to the hundreds. So the hundreds is one of the most, the most famous Pilates moves. Um, let's see how we're doing with time. Okay, we're doing fine with time. So, okay, so girls, in this position, your arms are gonna be down by your side. Okay, so Katie, bend your knees. Excellent. You're gonna take, um, bring one leg to tabletop, exhale the other. Good. Inhale here, Katie. On the exhale, we just slightly nod our chin like we did with the ab press, and then roll your shoulders off the mat as high as we can. Legs out the diagonal, but I want that flat hand. I want that arch lower back. Lift your arms up, and chin position right there, and so you breathe. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Pump the start. And 20. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four. 30. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four. 40, good work. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four. 50, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four. 60, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four. 70, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four. 80, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four. 90, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, one. First, bring your legs to tabletop. Release your upper body down and lower body. Release down. Good work. How'd that feel? Good. Good. Okay, so I want you to really think about when you come up as high as you can and really stay wide. I want, you know, you don't want to be caving in. So when we come up, we're going to do another set of those. Um, this time, girls, grab your soccer ball and we're going to place it in between the, your ankles. Let me give it to Okay. So lay down. Okay, bring your, bring your legs on the tabletop, Kate. Place it in between. So kind of like right above your ankle bones. Do you have a good grip? Okay. Okay. So, arms down by your side again. Girls, we're gonna do the same exercise, but now we're gonna have the, the, fit, the ball uh, in between your ankles. But first of all, first we're gonna do is take an inhale here, Katie. On the exhale, squeeze that ball. So now we're really working our inner thighs. Okay, so squeeze that ball, take a nice deep inhale. Okay, on the exhale, Kate, we're gonna slightly nod our chin, roll our shoulders as high as we can, lift up, legs out, squeezing, and Inhale, two, three, four, five. That's all, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, two, three, four, five. That's all, two, three, four, twenty. Good work. Two, three, four, five. That's all, two, three, four. 
30, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 40, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 50, shoulders up, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 60, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 70, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 80, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, 90, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, one. Bring your legs to tabletop first, Katie. We release your body. Lower down. How'd that feel? Good. Good. Okay, so hold on to that. Ball. We're going to do one more exercise using the soccer ball. So legs out. This is called full roll up. So legs are out and flex your feet, Katie. Good. Arms over your head. So in this exercise, it's very slow and controlled. So just listen for my cues. So Katie, take an inhale, arms to ceiling. Good. Exhale. Dig your heels into your mat. Pull up and through. Keep your legs straight. So it's going to, yeah, you're going to keep your, so it's, it's pulling up and through and over, right? Tip your head down. Give a little deep stretch in that hamstring. Start to open back up again, right? And shoulders down. Keep your feet flexed. Feet flexed. Legs engaged. The soccer ball should be at your eye level. Yep. And then slowly release. Slow. So I'm just going to resist it. I know it's hard, right? Slide over the feet on the Yeah, on the mat. Yep. Good. I just slow off a little bit. So you're going to take an inhale, arms to ceiling. On the exhale, dig those heels into that mat. Pull up and through. Deepen that stretch. Start to open back up again. Shoulders down. Right, so take your shoulders, elongate your neck. Arms out in front of you, engage your legs still, flex your feet, slow here, right? Good work, excellent work. We'll do two more girls. So take an inhale, arms to ceiling, exhale, dig those heels, pull up and through, right? If you wanna deepen that stretch, tip your head down, look at your knees, that gives a little more um, stretch of the hamstrings. Start to open up again. You want your shoulders down, right? And you keep your legs nice and tight, feet flexed, and slow. So I'm going to arms down like this. Yep. And slow. Right, right, right here, I must resist going back. I don't want to go back, right? Resist it. Right? Good. And we'll just do one more, girls. We're going to do an extra uh, breath during the hamstring stretch. So take an inhale, arms to ceiling. Exhale, dig those heels into that mat. Pull up and through, right? Check out where you are, girls. Take a nice deep inhale here and just try to release one inch farther. Try to go one inch farther forward, right? Deep in that stretch in that hamstring, right? Good, now start to open back up again. Shoulders down, keep your legs engaged. Feet flex, they can be apart if you want, and just slow here, Katie, slow. Feel like you're resisting going back. Breathing, don't forget to breathe, right? It's important. Excellent, okay. Grab onto one knee, Katie, roll yourself up, or do that. <laughs> that was good, it's perfect. Okay, girls, we're gonna do a little bit of a leg circuit right now. Um, not one of Katie's favorites. But, um, and then we're, you're sore, I know. And then we're gonna do um, ab series, and then we'll do some push-ups and shoulder taps and planks, and then we'll be done, okay? So, okay, why don't we, um, yeah, yeah, that's after the legs, okay? So we're gonna just kind of remove the mats um, for this one. I can do this. Okay, all right, yeah, perfect. Good. So basically, girls, we're going to get, like, right, yeah, right, like, right around there. Okay. Right there, okay. Okay, so the first thing we're just gonna do 20 squats just to kind of get us moving, okay? I don't care how your hands are, I want your feet at least hip distance apart and toes turned down a little bit, okay? We're just gonna sit back for 20 squats to get our um, legs warmed up. So we're just gonna sit and press. So really sit back, good, and press. I want you to lift up your toes and press, good. So sit and press. Come on forward, Wiki. Good and squat, and press, and sit back, squeeze. So what I like to do when I'm doing these, when I stand up, and squeeze your whole body, right? So sit back, right? Lift up your toes, and press through your 
her heels to a nice tall stand. Do you know how to do that, maybe? 14. 14, okay. And 15, good girls. 16, keep moving, which is just a warm up. 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Okay, so the next exercise will be reverse lunges. So I want your uh, feet hip distance apart and um, parallel. Your hands can be on your hips. And what we're going to do, we're just going to step back with our leg, but create. I want a nice 90 degree angle. Okay, do that. A 90 degree angle, okay? So I, and I also don't want your knee over your toes. You're going to step back enough and it creates a nice 90 degree angle, okay? So we'll do um, 10 on each side. Ready, Katie? So we'll start with our right side first. So step back with the right. Good. And up. And left. That's one. Step back. Good. Breathe. Two. So the upper body doesn't move, girls, right? Four. So this is isolated, right? So this is five, maybe. Okay, step back. Good. Six. So I think you make sure your eye gaze is straight forward. Seven. Hopefully your heart rate's going up a little bit. Eight. Two more, girls. Good. Step back. Nine. Last one. Good, girls. Ten. Okay. Hopefully your heart's going up a little bit. Okay. This now we're going to do is squats. Um, so basically, girls, we're going to go down to a squat position, and then we're going to go down to our knees and back up. Okay? So we'll start with our right side first. Okay. So we're going to drop down, Kate, in a nice squat position, and drop with the right. So drop right, and then press up with the right. But maintain that squat. Don't come up. And that's two. Good, girls. Three, shoulders down. Four, breathe. Five, keep that squat position. Don't come up. Six, keep a low squat. Seven, good. Eight, two more, girls. Nine, last one. Ten, and press. Good. Hopefully the legs are starting to burn a little bit. Okay. All right. We're going to drop down now, girls, and then we'll do the left side. So lower down to a nice squat position, right? And we're going to drop left. So drop left. And press one. Good. And press two. Shoulders down. Press up three. Drop. Good. Four. Breathe. Five. <laughs> Six. Good work, Kate. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. And press. Good work. Okay. Legs burn a little bit? Oh, mine are. <laughs> okay, so girls, we have just two more, um, two more exercises for the legs. Then we're gonna drop down and we'll do some abs. Okay. So um, we're gonna do yep, lunge and kick. Okay. So these are hard. These are pretty hard. <laughs> so girls, think about if you're standing straight with your toes parallel forward in front of you. They are 12 o'clock. You're gonna to step to one o'clock with your right foot. I'll demonstrate the first one, and then you're gonna kick. So, you're gonna take a nice big lunge, press off, and kick, okay? So do 10 on that side, and then 10 on the left side. Just don't kick me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? And so, step, press, kick. Oh, gosh. Step, press, kick two. Lunge it up, press three. We're really working our right glute four. So step, press, kick five. Good. Step, press six. We're also using our four, right? Seven. Eight, two more. Nine, last one. Ten. Good. Let's keep it. Let's keep our heart rates up. Let's go to the left. So now we're gonna go to 11 o'clock, right? So big lunge forward, press and kick. So lunge, press two. So it's kicking three, good. Press five. Lunge, press out six, good. So really working our left glute seven. Eight, two more. Nine, last one, girls. And ten. Good work. Okay, one more exercise. There's dumb. Right? Okay. This next exercise. Is a tough one. Okay, why don't you kind of get right here so I can see your legs? So 
Are you hearing me? I don't want you. Okay, I'm gonna ask, okay, right there. Okay, so we're gonna sit back. Um, like a chair pose in yoga. Sit back like this, Katie. So on your feet together first, right? Sit back, scoop your belly in, drop your hands down. You're gonna lift up your left leg, right? We'll do five slow and then we'll pick up the pace. So it's tap to the side and tap it back. But we're remaining in a constant single edge squat with the right, right? So tap and tap for three. Tap. Tap for four, do not come up from that squat. We're gonna pick up the pace, so tap. Six, good, tap. Seven, breathe, eight, pump your arms. Nine, good. Tell me, 10 more. 10, nine, good work. Eight, keep pumping your arms. Seven, good, take it back. Six, good, Katie. Five, four, three, give me two more. Two, give one more. And one, and press up. Good. I should really tap into your left right glute. Okay. So now, girls, we'll do one more on this side, on the left, and then we'll go down and do some abs. Okay, so, ready, Katie? So you're just gonna drop, so you're gonna sit, feet together. Ready, Katie, feet together. Sit back with the chair pose in yoga. We're gonna pick up our right foot. We'll do five slopes. We're gonna Tap to the side and tap back for one. Tap to the side, tap back for two. Breathe, three, tap, tap, four. Remain in this nice leg like squat. Five, pick up the pace. Six, go tap. That's seven, breathe, eight, nine. That's 10, 10 more. 10, pump those arms, nine, eight, tap. Seven, good work. Six, we're almost done. Five, breathe. Four, this is three, give me two more. That's two, give me one more, Kate. And one, and press. Good job, okay. Do you wanna grab a drink? Grab a drink in there, watch Kate. Okay, grab a drink, girls, if you need it. Okay, we're gonna come and do some ad series. Okay. All right. Do you mind? You might need to adjust that, Katie. Okay. Perfect. Okay. We lost Katie. So she'll just join in. Not sure what happened to her. <laughs> um. Okay. There she is. So we're gonna do abs series. Two sets of these. And then we'll do arms, and then we'll be done, girls. <sighs> okay. All right, it's a little busy minute. Oh, you can't. Katie was getting <laughs> our furry, our dog and our furry friend arrived. Okay. All right, girls, so bend your knees, um, have your hands behind your head, and elbows wide again. We're gonna bring one leg to tabletop. Exhale the other. Good. Inhale here, girls. On the exhale, we slightly nod our chin. Roll up as high as we can. One leg off straight, one leg bent, now just switch. One, reach it out. Two, good, slow it down. Three, slow. Four, shoulders up, Katie, right? Five, good. Six, seven, now be mindful of your chin position. Eight, check where it is. Nine, make sure you have a fist between your chin and your chest, Katie, so open up a little bit more, yeah? Good, stay here and cross. Cross, one, two, three, four, six, good. Seven, reach it. Eight, breathe. Nine, ten, two more. Eleven, last one. Twelve, inhale, center. Release. Another vial. Sorry. Okay. All right, girls. We have another exercise. It's called double leg stretch. Okay. So, Katie. Um, okay, I'm going to do this. Okay. So, hands behind your head, bend your knees. Bring one leg to tabletop. Exhale the other. Inhale here. On the exhale, we slightly nod our chin. We roll up as high as we can. Take a nice deep inhale here. Exhale, both legs out. Good. And keep them in. And for two, good. For three, now girls, in this exercise, I want your shoulders off that mat, elbows wide, right? Every breath out, 
We're trying to belly button down, right? Seven, good. Eight, nine, excellent work. 10, two more. 11, last one. 12, good. And release your body, lower body, release down, stretch out long. I'm just gonna see how I am with the time. Okay. Um, we'll just do one set of those because we're already at 4.37 and I wanna get some um, uh, shoulder taps in and planking, okay? And push-ups. Okay, so typically girls, I would do another set of those, the single leg and oblique. Um, but we're running out of time. So Kate, I want you to go on your belly. And we're gonna do some ab, or actually the arm work. Okay, so the first is, you guys have done this in your gap plan, um, shoulder taps. So rise up, keep you in a nice push-up position. But be mindful of your position. Think about, wait, sit, stop, okay. Think about your eye gaze is down, but your crown and your head is reaching forward, and your heels are pressing back. That just helps to show you all of our weight, okay? So with your feet, and think about scooping that belly in and squeezing your bottom. So ready, and tap. One, three, two, middle of the with your hips, three, so open your hips up, four, tap it out, five, three, six, good, seven, and tap it out, eight, a few more, nine, tell me I have it there, ten, nine, breathe, eight, squeeze your bottom, seven, draw the belly in, six, three, five, four, three, two, one, and we down. Good work, excellent work. Okay, so now Katie, all we have left are um, 10 push-ups on the one side, 10 push-ups on the other, and then we'll uh, plank for a minute and a half. So the push-ups, girls, I think you may have done this as well. So we're gonna just drop down and press up. So when we, well, don't, don't um, drop down to the right side, press up with the right side, okay? So we'll do 10 on the right, and then 10 on the left. Okay, so. Katie, you want to think, and girls, focus on a nice push-up position first. So, in this position, scooping the belly in, squeezing your butt, eye gaze down, crown reaching forward, heels pressing back, and drop, and press one, drop, good, press two, breathe, press three, don't hold your breath, press four, five, good work, six, few more, seven, eight, Nine, last one, Katie. And 10, good work. Catch your breath for a few seconds. And uh, we'll do the next one. And then we'll hold a plank for a minute and a half and then we'll be done, okay? All right, ready? So once again, think about the right proper position. So eye gaze down, crown gaze forward, heels pressing back, back and to drop with the left side. Go and press up, one, drop. Two, squeeze your bottom. Three, scoop the belly up and in, right? Four, good. Five, we're halfway there, Katie. Six, good work. Seven, breathe. Eight, two more. Nine, last one. And 10, excellent work. Catch your breath. And I'll time you girls for um, a forearm plank for a minute and a half, and then we'll be done. Okay. And then we'll just stretch real quick. A real quick last minute stretch, okay? So let me get, let me get our time, our stopwatch. Katie, I'm not gonna do this with you, I'll cue you in it, okay? So, yep. So get in the proper forearm plank. So Katie, get in the position first. So in this position, good. Excellent, so her, her eye gaze is down. Once again, she's thinking her crown and her head's reaching forward, her heels are pressing back, and Go, okay, so she's, our eye gaze is down, her hands are just flat on the mat, right? We're breathing, we're inhaling and exhaling, we're not clenching our teeth, we're not holding our breath. Breathe in, exhale, in, and a nice deep exhale, good. Now Katie, what I want you to focus on is making sure your shoulders, wherever there's elbows, which they are, and your eye gaze is down, when it is. So now here we'll start to cue. So now I basically think about pressing your elbows into the mat. That helps you to round your upper back out. At the same time, scoop your belly up and good. Squeeze your bottom, squeeze your legs, right? And now just breathe. This is a perfect place, just breathe here. Inhaling, 
And exhale, good. We'll do one more set of cues and I'll start the countdown. So think about this, you're gonna press your elbows into the mat, excellent, you're gonna round your upper back out, you're scooping your belly button up and in, She's squeezing her bottom, she's squeezing her legs, she's pressing her heels back, she's reaching her crown forward, and she's just breathing here. Breathe, don't hold your breath while you're inhaling. Good, Katie. And exhaling, excellent work. Girls, we have 20 seconds left, I'll do a countdown at 10, okay? So just think about this, scoop your belly in and squeeze your butt. Reach that crown forward and press your heels back, good. And now the countdown's 10, nine, good, eight, Seven and six, excellent work. Four, three, two, one, and release down, you're done. Great work, relax. Excellent job. Okay, so now we're gonna have that feel, Katie. Good. Great job, done your work, they went on the workout. Awesome, so girls, we're just gonna quickly um, stretch um, real brief, so lay on your back, Katie. Um, just wanna do another twist. Um, like I kind of started, which is so it's just you to lay on your um, lay on your left hip, right, and scissor your legs to take your right your excuse me your right leg forward, your left leg back like this, and then just take your and then look over, come over that side. So yeah, you might feel a nice deep stretch. Try to calm our breath. Our heart rate may be up a little bit. Breathing. Great job today. Good. And let's just go on the other side. So roll on your right hip. Take your left leg forward, scissors your right leg back. Take an inhale and open up. You might feel a difference from side to side. One side might be tighter than the other. Just breathe into this, girls. And exhale it out. Good work. Excellent. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, finish class how we started. So Katie, lay on the mat, arms over your head, right? Close your eyes, girls. Take an inhale, stretch long. Exhale it out. Inhale, stretch long. Fingers to your toes, toes to your fingers. Exhale it out. And just one last one, girls. So take a nice deep inhale, stretch. And exhale it out. And when you're ready, just come up. And we're done. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you, guys. Take care.